Uh, I think that company went out of business. I forget if it was uh, Angry Video Game Nerd or Gaming Historian that said that. I can't research it. I'm uh, doing improv. Let's see here. Left, right, left. For fuck's sake, this controller. Right, 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 left, left. Uh, for fuck's sake, whatever, good enough. Well, I'm trying to, like, uh... Since I'm recording the audio and video using separate programs, I have to sync them up later in editing. The down key is virtually worthless. Any good enough for a name? Oh, come on. You can't, uh... 2492, okay, 2492. Oh, I forgot the name of the shuttle. God damn it. Okay. Uh. Pfft. I totally lost my train of thought. Okay, 5466 six, Endeavor. I don't see the point of this exercise, really. 5466 six, six, Endeavor. Okay, yay, finally did it. I forget if I finished my last thought. I did the thing going left and right unsuccessfully somewhat, because I'm recording the audio and video using separate programs and have to sync them later in uh, editing. Yeah, I think I said that, damn it. Okay, I've only played this a few times. I, I like the graphics and the uh, music. Everything else sucks, honestly. It's just, a, it's just a, uh, quick goddamn down arrow, it's, like, halfway broken or something. Uh, uh, yeah, I've played this a few times, and just... It's irritating. God damn it. Come on. Instead of using my Xbox 360 controller, I decided I'd use my NES controller, which I think may have been a mistake. Damn it, come on. Um, I seriously ran out of time like that, just as I was walking in. Ugh, they don't give you much room for error. But yeah, I'm using an NES controller. It's just like a real controller, except it has a USB connector on one end and a Made in China sticker on the back, but other than that, it's just like a real NES controller. You know, the look and the layout and everything. The Xbox 360 controller, actually, uh, the up arrow is a little, uh, not as sensitive as the other arrows on the D-pad, although the down arrow on this NES controller is significantly worse in that respect. 14, 13, T-10. It's interesting, uh, for the voice recordings, they would have had to use, uh, PCM sampling or something. I don't know how that works, but I guess not a lot of games use that. Now, I like the music. Listen to this. This is... this sounds pretty cool. I like it anyways. Uh, so... Okay, I have to follow the up arrow with... I'm... The game is controlling the up arrow, and my D-pad is controlling the down arrow, and I have to follow it is what's going on, and... Now I have to stop the line where that light blue square is. The only reason I know to do any of this is because I've played it a few times beforehand, and I've never gotten very far. Oh, by the way, the external... Uh, tank isn't orange either, like, what the fuck? I mean, I know that you can't do, like, 32-bit color or anything, but come on, you can do orange. All I see is gray and blue at the moment. External tank separation. Got that. Should still be orange. Nearly hit the shuttle on the way down. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Uh, yeah. Follow this. It really is good music and, and graphics for the most part, it just... It's not all that fun to play. Uh... 
come on. Oh, okay, good. We did it. There's the moon. Yeah, you can do a green land on Earth. You can't do an orange color for the external tank. I guess a handful of external tanks were whites. Or at least during uh, some prototype stuff with, like, the Enterprise shuttle. Now this sucks. I, I can hardly ever get through this. Uh... Okay, hit the A button to launch it. Uh, I guess the up and shit. Yeah, there's momentum you have to take into account. It doesn't it doesn't just stop immediately. Uh Okay, let's see. Come on. Oh good. Got it, finally. Are you fucking... Okay, I forgot. Yeah, that happens, too. <laughs> it has to have time to open up before another satellite hits it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just... Oh, the shit, 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 shit. Oh, good. Very good. Alright, good. Oh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Assholes. Okay. Um... Last chance, I guess. I have to hit the A button to actually launch it, so no up arrow there. Seems to be the same pattern over and over again. Uh. Okay. I can hit. Oh, fuck. The other satellite went through my uh, spacesuit, so that doesn't hurt me, apparently. Uh. Yeah, okay, fine. Nintendo Times, okay. The whole thing just restarts. Uh, let's see, I'm about seven minutes into this. Seven and a half minutes, roughly. At least it remembered my name. One... Uh, I mean... It, like, starts on, uh... So when those numbers flash by, it's not totally random. It always starts, like, one or two numbers ahead of what it's gonna be, like, so the amount of time it takes for the first digit to get to the right number is the same amount of time it takes for the second, third, and fourth digit, so you can kind of, uh, I mean, you notice a pattern in that regard, and you can kind of just, uh, uh, fuck, uh, God, never mind. No one cares about that little detail anyways. Uh, why can't this... Uh, I don't know. The crew... I don't even know what the, uh... Little... Blue... Beads are going left and right are for anyways. Like, if that's supposed to be something, or if it's just an obstacle for the sake of being an obstacle. This is probably the easiest part of the game, stage 2. Or assuming you've played it at least once and figured it out through trial and error what you're supposed to do. It is cool they could put voice recordings in here, though. Or cool that the NES could... the hardware could even do that at all. Yeah, come on, here we go. It just really looks weird, having a gray external tank. Roll. And, uh, you see that number five flashing? You only get, uh, five, uh, tries. Like, if you make a mistake, it rolls down to four, etc., etc. And if it gets down to zero, you get the newspaper article saying you failed, and you have to start the whole game over again. So if you're playing this for the first time, you're probably gonna lose uh, half of your tries. Because you gotta follow one arrow with the other, that's a different type of thing. And then landing this uh, vertical cursor on the light blue square in that spectrum of darker blue is... You're probably gonna mess that up the first time, because... I mean, that, that white line moving from left to right moves pretty fast. You have to know what to expect, sort of. Uh, 
Jack, come on. I mean, I'm not doing that thing where I'm like yelling in mock rage or anything, but this really isn't uh, a fun game all that much. And I never had an NES growing up, and so uh, I'm sure if I had picked this game up, you look at the cover art, which I'll, I need to remind myself, put a composite in the, uh, the corner somewhere. Yeah, maybe upper left. There's nothing there. Uh, you know, I would have been pretty disappointed, I think. Like, yeah, it looks cool. It sounds cool. The control is just weird. That's not the fault of the uh, subpar controller I have. Okay, this... I have beaten this part of the game a couple of times before, but it's just... Horrible. Let's try. There's an oxygen meter too. Like, come on. Put it there. Oh, see, now that's that's gonna hit the satellite too. I don't know at what point when I can do that successfully. Really. Oh shit. Oh. Whew. Okay then. Oh, hurry up. God damn it. Okay, I got too excited. I was just so surprised that white miniature Death Star nearly... Well, it did touch me, it just... it didn't... Uh... It didn't count, apparently. Okay, I'm gonna try... Going up slightly, but not too much. Uh, fuck, that didn't work. See, there's still not enough time. I don't understand. Oh, the solar panels made it out to a 90 degree angle at that point. Like, I, okay, I know I only have so much oxygen to do this. And watch, if I just go straight up... Eh, uh, fuck. Uh, oh, well, maybe I could have threaded the needle if I hadn't hesitated and hit the down arrow to slow down. Oh, shit. Okay, that was just stupidity on... Just stupidity on my part. Uh, come on. Holding the up arrow key... Or... Er, button. Fuck! I like hit an invisible wall on the top of the screen. Uh, Okay, so I have to slow down, and keep in mind I have to have an oxygen meter, and apparently I can't... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, okay. So I can't put it up because the middle satellite will hit me. Okay, so that's the earliest I can go up. Shit, damn it. But I'll run out of oxygen otherwise. I don't know how else I'm supposed to actually do it. I mean, this... I swear I've gotten past that point once or twice in my life playing this, but jeez. Uh, okay, 5477 Atlantis. One, two, one, two... Shit, I already messed that up. Alright, 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 alright. Fuck. Man, I already blew it. Uh, shit. Okay, I've only got four shots. Uh, and I hit six, eight, one, two... Six, eight, one, two, and, uh, yeah, you saw how the numbers kind of just presented themselves in the proper order after, like, one or two seconds each, so it's not totally random is what I was trying to say. <sighs> Yikes. I've only got four tries to do this. Yeah, see, like, it's not like... You have four tries here, but then you get five tries when you're flying the shuttle upwards, and then five separate tries trying to put the satellite in place. No, it just seems to be five tries total when you're uh, uh, throughout the entire thing. I don't think there's a way to get an extra try or anything.
14, 13, T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. We've gone for main engine start. That was so stupid what I just said. Fortunately, I can just cut it out. <laughs> yeah, I don't stream. I just do this. You know, it'd be cool. There isn't much to this game. Uh, and I'm sure even if you could beat it, you'd, it's the kind of thing you'd beat in like 15 minutes, and then there's like no replayability whatsoever other than just the uh, same exact thing over and over again. It would have been nice if uh, you could choose from different shuttle missions. There'd be different ways of preparing for a shuttle takeoff when you're on the launch pad. Uh, or hell, it doesn't even have to be the whole shuttle. I mean, why not have a game with Saturn V rocket, you'd try to do the Apollo missions, too, while you're at it. Do other things... I don't know. Dock with the International Space Station? Although, for all I know... I mean, the shuttle did that sometimes. For all I know, that's part of this game, too, with the International Space Station, and I just haven't gotten that far yet. Let's see, my timer says I've been going on for nearly 17 minutes, so, uh... If I don't get past the part with putting the satellite in orbit, I'm gonna just give up and quit, I guess. Space Shuttle is, uh, just amazing, though. Shame they had to retire it. I mean, I understand why they did it. You know, it's getting dangerous to, uh, kind of fallen apart after Columbia, but it was such a cool machine. Okay. Um, I think my voice just cracked there. I cannot, I just, I don't see any way to do this, honestly. Like, I'm putting it up there even though I know... I, I just... I don't see any way you could possibly thread the needle. Uh, I, oh, shoot, that was closer than I would have liked. Um, okay, so why is that not... That was just a hunch based on the mistake earlier. I don't know why that doesn't have collision detection. It would have saved me a lot of headache earlier. Wait, that's my second try doing that level. It still says I have four tries left. Maybe it does reset sometimes. What's going on? Okay, I have to hit the A button. Oh, God. Close cargo... Oh! Close cargo bay door. Okay, so... Is this like the takeoff sequence? Yes, it is. Okay, maybe I can do this. Wait, what's the arrow for? What the fuck?! <laughs> oh, I have to hit the up arrow, maybe? What the fuck? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Uh, or I have to... What? What do you want me to do? Do I have to hold it? Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, jeez. I just blew, like, three of my chances, because that didn't make any sense to me the first couple times around. Alright. It'd be nice if it said hold, or something. Uh, okay. Please don't throw me a curveball like that again. I'm so close to beating this. Okay, nice colors. I'm not sure how much you can do during actual re-entry like that. I mean, you're probably just... Probably just falling, and then once you're kind of out of the fiery bit, you, uh can then glide it from there, but well, the way it turns is nice. You have, I mean, you would have had to have several different sprites to, uh, uh, be able to visually simulate a turn like that. 
Yeah, that's cool. I like it when uh, video game sprites do that. They alternate back and forth between several different images to simulate it. I have no idea what that- oh shit, I nearly missed it. Oh god, I'm gonna beat this. I'm gonna beat this, I'm gonna beat this. Oh, okay, alright. God, stupid arrows. Okay, please. Oh, cool. I nearly got hit by jet fighters. Okay, since when do jet fighters ever ex escort a space shuttle? Like, that's... And since when does a space shuttle land on grass? The fuck is this? Like, okay, I get it. The runway can be surrounded by hedges and shit, but have the fucking runway be gray? I mean, come on, that's ridiculous. Great. Alright, secret code number and ship assignment. Use them to skip previously completed missions. 9858 Atlantis? Oh, okay, so you do get to do other stuff. I guess... See, I gotta do this part again, I don't know. Uh, oh, well... Shit, it's been nearly 22 minutes. It's nighttime, fancy. Well, the external tank is orange here. I'm sure it was last time, too. I just didn't notice, but... <laughs> I still have one try. Oh, fuck off. Cannot believe I hit that. I'm getting too excited. I have 46 seconds. There's gotta be something else that's gonna happen, I'm sure. I hope that didn't cost me too much time. Yeah, with a whole half minute left, there's got to be more to it than this. It's ridiculous. Do I have to go back and get down more people? What? What do I do? Oh, I have to go. Yeah, I do have to go back down. Shit. See, it doesn't tell you that. So, uh... For fuck's sake. Ridiculous. Is that part of the music, or is the countdown timer giving me a warning after... 15 seconds, which is when that started. I'm not gonna make it. I am not gonna fucking make it. God damn it! Ass shit. Oh, God. I have one more try, though, right? A minute and five seconds to go up the elevator and load... I don't know how many crew members. Ugh. I didn't understand what it told me when it, uh, was congratulating me for finishing the last mission. God fucking... Oh, fuck. God, shit, ass, hole. I'm trying way too hard to be like the angry video game nerd there. Uh... I, mean, I could just say shit. That'd be good enough, I guess, but... Yeah, I don't know. That is... Pretty annoying, though, having those things going back and forth. But said you could skip a previously completed mission with the code they gave you. I don't understand how that was uh, any different from any other code they would give me. And if I tried to enter that, I'm sure it would uh, not work and just display... Okay, good, I made it. Just display an error message. And this is going to be exactly the same, presumably. Come on, uh, it is night time, so we have a nice blue glow of the inside of the cockpit, that's cool. For fuck's sake, <laughs> have the external tank be orange! I just, I don't understand that at all. Oh, the flag on the wing isn't even, I mean, I know there isn't much, too many pixels there to work with, but you could have had a couple red stripes and the corner be blue, I mean, come on. Uh, let's see, do I know any space shuttle trivia? I probably do, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. Valves? What? What do you mean, valves? What do I do? Do I do something? 
the oh, fuck? What? I, I just hit the A button like a split second before I realized that error was gonna come up. I destroyed the whole space shuttle? Damn. Wow. Okay. That's fucking fantastic. I'm done with this. It's been like 25, 26 minutes now.